Back when Les Stukings of Bow Island, Alberta was still farming, he built his own grain cleaner to bring in some extra income for the farm. Well, this is the seventh grain cleaning system he's built since then, and the business has worked out so well that Les now devotes all his time to cleaning grain. Southland Grain Services has been in operation for over 20 years. Every new technology has come over the years. Uh, we tried to add that and tweak it, make it a little easier because we're getting a little older. Les has his latest grain cleaning setup mounted on a tandem axle step deck trailer, which was originally 53 feet long until he stretched it out to 57 feet for this project. The system was designed with driving in mind and is powered by a 250 kilowatt generator. There's 37 motors on the machine and why there is so many moving parts, we built it within basic dimensional specs uh, for overpasses and, and stuff like that so we can travel down the highway easily. He set up the grain handling system with all the necessary components to handle a wide variety of grain cleaning needs. At the back of the trailer is a 250 bushel surge bin which gives them added flexibility for moving grain around. That feeds into an air screen machine which does pre-cleaning and sizes by width. From there we go into the indents uh, which grade it by length and from there into a camas density separator which grades everything by, by weight and in front of that is a five channel color sorter. The surge bin has worked out well for allowing them to run the system at its optimal speed. More and more we're running into center unload bins and it's tough to choke them down to a slow speed to the cleaner speed so we put that in there so we, it gives us 15 to 20 minutes of running time, lots of time to fill. It just slows down the process a little bit. The system can clean anywhere from 700 to 1,000 bushels per hour, depending on the crop. The computerized control system allows him to utilize any combination of the four main cleaning components, which changes according to the type of cleaning job he's doing at any given time and we can go any combination we want. There's eight different modes. Uh, not all crops require the same machinery, so you can use what you want, or if you have a difficulty with something, you can add one just with a click of a button. Right now, Les is working at the Arm River Hutterite Colony near Disley, Saskatchewan, helping them clean up their Durham wheat with about 16% fusarium. Before he got here with his cleaning system, this Durham crop was almost worthless, according to the colony's farm boss, Paul Ed Hoffer. Because our fusarium level on the Durham was salvage. So now uh, I got a hold of Les and he came in and he, now he's bringing it down to a 3% fusarium. And it's sale, uh, saleable. Uh, before on salvage, nobody wanted to even see it or look at it or buy it. Les told us that due to the severity of the fusarium, some of this Durham will have to go through the cleaning system twice. For this particular job, he's charging $400 per hour. He says the fusarium is being cleaned out of this crop mainly by weight. There's some size difference in it, but the, the air system, the aspiration system, and the density separator are the important ones in this process. So. Once they finish this cleaning job, Les will take a variety of precautions to make sure they don't bring any fusarium along to the next farm they visit. Alberta has uh, zero tolerance on fusarium for seed. So when we're finished here, it'll be a two to three day process, maybe even four. We're gonna clean the machine, blow it all off, wash it. Then we're gonna bleach it all in, and let it dry. And then we have to wash it again and then we'll head home. The cleaning system is designed to handle just about any crop from mustard to field beans to corn and of course wheat. It would take some extra work to set it up for canola but Les doesn't get much demand for that anyway. Of course operating a unit like this isn't something you figure out overnight. The machine's just a little over a year old so we're still learning how to improve the maintenance on it and ease 
ease of maintenance and that's the whole trick is to keep it running that's that's uh breakdowns don't pay so even though this system looks about as high tech as it gets les is always open to the idea of incorporating more features another addition we've got in progress right now is a wi-fi system with a camera set up so we can do it off any wi-fi device and operate it or the technicians can actually work on it without actually being on site. Les says he's pleased with how this system is working so far, especially when he compares it to his previous grain cleaning setup. Previously I actually had a color sorting unit that was on a separate trailer and then a seed cleaner besides. And one person running, trying to run two machines didn't work well. So where we came up with this idea was to add everything and put it on one trailer. The total cost for just the materials for this grain cleaning system came to just over $1 million. That doesn't include the labor of four people for seven months. But he says it's been well worth the investment to offer farmers this level of cleaning technology in a mobile operation.